that is not in the mind, it is in the body, something that we do because our body calls. If you invert this position, and uh, uh, what is more relevant, more common, is, is the mind. So the body cannot tell to the mind. So it's quite uh, ambiguous, this idea of instinct, because well, in primatology, in ethology, is something that they are discussing. I, I mean, I have not an answer about this. Maybe next time I receive an invitation here, <laughs> I will prepare something about this topic, and uh, we will talk about. Oh yeah, I was. Uh, he had mentioned something about um, uh, monkeys and, and humans mm. purposefully passing on. Um, tools and use of tools to monkeys and you, you seemed interested like you were going to give some examples do you have any yeah 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 no well we have a lot of examples of uh, uh, when i told you of the the um, uh, aggressive attitude of capuchins uh, with myself in the university mm -hmm. it was uh, uh, clearly the occupation of a space the appropriation of a space uh, who is think to be human the university but he was, uh, they, were, they were living there. It was their house. And uh, I'm sure that they, they acquired several behavioral attitudes uh, from looking at humans. For example, eating a sandwich. Eating a sandwich and to open it from, it from the paper is something that in nature you don't need to do. It's difficult to find a sandwich in a tree, <laughs> for example. And, and so the, uh, to open a paper that is something that is apparently simple, simple but it's not, so, uh, it's not so simple because you have to think that uh, it's something that you cannot eat and inside you can find something. And it's different from a seed because they are quite different. But they are able to do something, to, create, to grow the seed, so they change this skill to, pro to open uh, a paper of, of a sandwich, for example. But uh, we can we have uh, several examples of uh, monkeys which are able uh, to to do what, whatever. In, uh, in also in YouTube you can find uh, several movies of experiments that, that primatologists do with primates with monkeys and uh, learning them uh, how to, to manage, for example, toys or uh, to like produce the bicycle. bicycles. <laughs> so the they is recognized that. that uh, absolutely able to, uh, to learn everything and it's interesting because also the kayapo teach to the to, to, to the monkeys when they are young when they, they are babies then they live in the village they learn how to do the different things they learn how to you to manage a machete without uh, cutting their hand for example do they do they eventually go back into the jungle? Do now, they when they are, when they grow up, uh, the Mabango crest send them to the okay. jungle. But all the animals, when they have babies, uh, they they take babies also from of jaguars, for example, <coughs> of uh, tapir or different uh, beings. But when they grow up, uh, they return. They must return to the jungle because they are not human. If they will stay there, they will take the danger of everybody becoming an animal. And so this is the, the main reason why in, um, in, in Amerindians, in the, in the lowland South America, uh, excluding the Andes, you, you had not a domestication of animals. So it's a cultural belief system kind of thing. Yeah, it's this idea of animism, that uh, if uh, uh, we share the same uh, um, mind, but what changes our body, our presence together in the same place can bring uh, the danger for me that you can change my body so I will become a monkey mm -hmm. or a tapir or, or something else so when you grow up of course when you are a baby I can I can have the control of our relation but when you grow up this position can be inverted so you can be the subject and I can be the object so I can be passive in our relation you can take the control of it and in this case you can make me you can make me of your species, so uh, that this is the moment that you must return to the forest. Mm -hmm. Is there idea what 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 was I seeing in those turtles? What kind of power was I looking for in, in those animals? 
Yeah, is uh, th there are some uh, anthropologists that, that uh, give an interpretation of, of this idea of uh, this closer relation with turtles to use the, the body painting of turtles because turtle has a skin really, really strong. <coughs> so it can give them uh, a stronger skin. However, I think it's not so direct a relation because on, on uh, this imply an idea that the body is uh, the, the, the is where the properties are. But uh, the body is the result, is the effect of a, of, of a mind, of a point of view. So if we think that eating a turtle, painting as a turtle, I will acquire some qualities of the turtle, this contradicts in some sense the idea that the body is the result of the mind. I'm clear or not? That, uh, well, in a, in a naturalistic point of view, for, like ours one, we can think, uh, for example, that, well, uh, in, in past times, for example, we dress the, the, the skin of the wolves to become strong as a wolf. Yeah? So we share a substance with the animal, but uh, this uh, doesn't affect my point of view on the reality, okay? In an animistic point of view, we have the reverse. What does it mean? That uh, what is important is not the body of the turtle, because the turtle look at himself as a human, because he share with me the same way of looking at the world. It's clear? What is common is not the body, and so the possibility to acquire the, the, the strongness of the, the wolf using uh, his skin. I can acquire some quality of the, of the turtle if I acquire uh, some part of his mind. So for example, the name is more important. It's not important, the body. So is, uh, this is interesting because from where comes the name? The names always have uh, an animal origin in, in Amazon. Names are not something that human produce, but the shamans go to the to the society of animals, sometimes among the, the monkeys, sometimes among the fishes, sometimes among the turtles, and they take from their names and they bring names. So in this sense, what you 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 you, you should incorporate is uh, uh, is some uh, immaterial quality of the animals that can bring you their point of view and not some bodily part because body part <coughs> is, is the effect, is the result. So it's a total inversion of our way of, of dressing the wolves, for example. It's clear? Yeah. But it was a really interesting question. Yeah, fascinating. So, other questions? Wow, it's the first time that I have been able to be so clear in a presentation. <laughs> <laughs> the people don't have questions. Nice. Or we're, we're just really quiet. <laughs> yeah, or maybe, I don't know. Maybe I think that here there is uh, just a few oxygen. <laughs> because we have so much people. And, yeah. You said that they have multiple um, these rituals for a woman's life when they give a mother name. Do they yeah. have like on number or how is like when does they sorry how do they have do they have the, no i don't they, they, they have multiple rituals yeah when to give number names yeah. yeah how many do they have do they have like specific number or how can well, they tell that it's a no, as I, for another well as, <laughs> I, as i told now the, there is a a, a, um, a continuous <laughs> process of ad, ad, acquisition of new names mm -hmm. that is uh, something that is continue continuous the names will arrive all the time, new names. When I have been there, for example, the first time, when I returned the, circ the second time, there was a baby who, who, who had my name. <laughs> and they invented a ritual for, I, I use this to say invented because it, it is not an invention. It was something that they connected in some way with, with my presence there and some events that happened there. 
but uh, they, they produced uh, a new s kind of subjectivities. And, uh, and so they acquired new names. And so this is a continuous movement of uh, cannibalization of novelties inside the, the, the community. But so they, they don't have a fixed number. And are the shamans the ones that say, like, it's time, like, no, it, it's not this idea that it is time to have a new name. It happened that they go somewhere and uh, uh, they, they, uh, they, they learn some other names, some other rituals, and when they come back to the village, they share it with other people. For example, I, I, well, I, I didn't follow him, but the shaman of the village where I do my field work, he told me that he went in, in the river and uh, he took part in a ritual of fishes. Mm -hmm. And when he came back, he gave several names to the people of the village because the fishes told him, well, this is the name for him, for the other, for the other, and with the relative, with the connected rituals to transmit on. And so you can have people having 30 names, 40 names, 35, 20, yeah. well, exchange and it's interesting because this is what produce really the humans what makes the humans is then are the names and these names are continuatively redistributed in the society you, you don't bring your names from from cradle to the tomb you will uh, acquire along the time and you will give back to other people along the time, in a, con in a continuative process of sharing of these names. And they are what are uh, uh, affected your, your subjectivity, but your subjectivity cannot be fixed. It must be continuous, uh, revealed in different ways. It's not a, 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 a philosophy of being like a Western philosophy. I am Faridon. I am temporarily <laughs> Tomorrow, I don't know. Yesterday, another thing. Mm. It's, so it's quite a philosophy of becoming. So it's possible that my previous name will be given to another person. It, it must be given to another person. You will give to another person. <coughs> you, you will decide who will bring your name. And it's interesting because they recognize, they remember all the trajectory of the names. Who had this name previously? And uh, when it was transmitted, and uh, this transmission is important because it produces social relations, and it, it produces the community, the possibility to, to reciprocal recognition, to be sure to be you all humans. If I don't recognize your name, I don't recognize your identity, so I am not sure that you are human. <laughs> If turtles, monkey, they are humans <coughs> with another body, you can change your body and want to do some uh, something with me and make me transform in other thing and uh, I can become some something else. So this continuative process is necessary to ensure everybody to being humans. Is clear yeah. or not? Yeah. Well. <laughs> no. It's a new perspective. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's an alternative perspective. It's for this reason that uh, uh, Eduardo Rivera de Castro proposes the idea that uh, we are not uh, in one nature, but uh, we are in several natures at the same time. Because it's the point of view that is one, is not the physical part. So there is not uh, a tree. Because what I see as a tree for the monkeys is, is, the, is a village. It's clear? <laughs> and what I see as the village for them maybe is a tree. More questions? From that side, some questions? <laughs> you were unlucky for the teachers, <laughs> but we can uh, restart again from the beginning <laughs> if you want to see the, all the pictures. <laughs> Along this discussion, uh, somebody say something like, uh, "You, you name me, you deny me." You, know? you name me. If you, you call my name, you deny me. 
Sorry, uh, my English is not so good to know the term benign. Me nombras, sí? me ah, yeah, 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 to deny, yeah, 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 sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry. sorry. Yeah. Uh, well, and so? Sí, and, and it has to be uh, like a, if you put a name, you will create something, you put a name. Yeah. And you can cut all the possibilities that can be. If you put a name with the adjective, if you are Jose or Pedro, for example, yeah, like you said, uh, Pedro Jose is like that. And if you change this name or put other name, you can change all the, in a way, the adjective. Yeah, it makes some sense. It makes absolutely some sense also in this kind of, of idea because, okay, I, I must, my name must be recognized by the others but the others that I recognize as humans. If I recite the name, for example, by a tapir in a type, in a tapir ritual and with a tapir name, I will become a tapir. I cannot be able, I, I will not be able to come back and to, to, to become human again. So in this sense, it can have, uh, um, uh, it, it, it is, Something similar. Yeah, if we think in this possibility of interspecific communication, among humans you don't have this problem, because it's important that someone reco that everybody recognize me as human for me to be sure to be human. If uh, uh, is an other species, the the history, the mythical panorama of Amazonia is full of events of this. Uh, this uh, kind uh, that uh, someone uh, makes some uh, um, have some illusion in the forest uh, in the sense uh, that uh, he looks uh, at uh, some animal uh, in the form of human and so when uh, he followed this human he arrived in a village that he recognized as a proper human village he took part of the social life there sometime having naming rituals sometime sharing food sometime having a wife or a husband, but when he wanted to go back to his own village, he was killed by his own relatives because he was transformed in the animal. The village that he visited in the forest was not a human village, it was an animal village. But he, has he transformed, has he passed from the subjective position to the objective position to a passive position in the relation, in the intersubjective relation, he started to observe the reality from the animal's point of view. And in this way, the reality changed. So he was looking at a tree as a village, for example. It's like empathy said. Or, yeah? yeah, it makes some sense, the idea of em empathy, empathy, but uh, is, uh, in this case, is quite uh, stronger, I think, because is not different ways of looking the things, are different realities. So the connection is something uh, that is not, uh, uh, I, I, I enter in an um, emotive relation with you because we have always a war of point of views. This, who uh, control the point of view, controls also the reality, in which reality we are living. So it is not empathic in the sense to produce a symmetric relation, but it is necessary asymmetric. It's for this reason that we have uh, in, uh, uh, a strong emphasis on the idea of predation, of prey and predator, the hunter and the prey. And in, in a quite symbolic way, is, is a, this is the model of the relations of the interspecific relation, but recognizing that the other can be at every time a prey, but also a predator, a predator. So is is this ambiguous position, and it is not well. It is not empathic as I understand the term empathic. It, it is not a, 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 a symmetric relation. There is always a hierarchical that can be on both sides, but is a hierarchical necessarily. It was <laughs> this? Yeah.
Yeah. Something else? I know that the most part of you want to drink a beer, no. so... <laughs> we would oh. like to say you thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Wow, <laughs> wow. So nice present. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I will share substances in some way. I will become a Latvian too. Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, thank you very much. In Italy, are too. Yeah, cultural differences. Thank you, thank you very much. So, thank you so much, everyone, for coming. And um, please do uh, join the Facebook page of the Latvian Association of Anthropologists to find out about future events that we're organizing. And we really would like to thank Boldarai for hosting us here tonight and Katrina for the recording. And once again, Harede, thank you so much for joining us tonight and for the lovely presentation. And I think it's uh, left all kinds of questions in all our minds. So it's a kind of a good note on which to, you know, end this evening. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure you'll have kind of more individual questions to Harede, so I'm sure uh, there can be smaller discussions yeah. now as well. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.